Good day. This has been filmed in the Hibernate and Husky Studio A. And you should have watched the video, and I went through quickly those videos, where you're seeing if things conduct or not. So we're going to go a little bit more slowly, but still probably too fast for you to copy easily. So I may actually have to pause this. So you can see we have all these different samples that were just tested in the videos. We're going to look at the con conductivity, which is typically poor, weak, good, or great. We'll give you a formula. We'll talk about solubility and ionic or molecular if applicable. So let's start filling things in. Pure water was poor. We know its formula is H2O. We know its solubility. Well, it doesn't really apply. We're not dissolving water in water. And typically, we think of it as molecular. Well, tap water essentially is going to be the same, so it's going to go pour, H2O, Na, and molecular. So it really didn't make much difference. Our pure water distilled water, that means we've tried to get rid of all of the ions and things that might be dissolved, all the different uh, compounds that might be dissolved in it that you might find in tap water. But we see the tap water really behave the same way. Now we start with a small amount of table salt. And it's pretty good. We know it's NaCl. We know that dissolves. It's soluble. And we know it's ionic. And that was interesting. Lots of table salt. Well, I actually could say great. It was even better. And we have our NaCl, soluble and ionic. Sugar has an interesting formula. But sugar was a terrible conductor. So there's its formula. Sugar does dissolve in water but is molecular or covalent. We look at copper 2 chloride, and it was very good. There's its formula, CuCl2. We know it's soluble, and we know it's ionic. Then we hit ethanol, and that is a form of alcohol, and it was poor. There's its formula, CH3, CH2OH. It is soluble, but it is molecular. So that's the first batch, and hopefully you got it, because I don't like the tape for very long here. So I am moving on to more compounds. Now, you don't have to write the headings all over again. You already have them. It's just I ran out of room, so I put them there as a reminder. So we look at zinc, and zinc was good, and that's not surprising, because in this case, we didn't involve water. We know metals conduct electricity. It's one of their properties. They're loose with their electrons. Formula for zinc is cleverly Zn. Solubility didn't really apply because we didn't have any water. And ionic or molecular really doesn't apply to a pure metal. We carry on. We had the zinc and the water. And we saw it was poor until actually the electrodes went and touched the bottom of the beaker where the zinc had settled, in which case we were back to the early setup. But it made a nice spark, so that was impressive. So our formula is still zinc, and it did not dissolve at all, and again, it doesn't really apply. Calcium carbonate, sometimes called marble chips, stuff you find in chalk and limestone, it was poor. Its formula is CaCO3, it has low solubility, and it is ionic. Potassium chromate, it was good. K2CRO4, it is soluble, and it is ionic. Ammonium hydroxide, which we often call ammonia in this case, so we look at it, and it was weak. It was a weak conductor, but it wasn't poor. We could see the lights of the bulbs appear, and it's NH4OH. It's soluble, but it doesn't fully dissociate. And so we call it um, ionic, if we way have written the NH4OH. Now we go to vinegar, or vinegar, if you're hooked on phonics. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was weak. It behaved very much like the ammonia, or ammonium hydroxide. And this H at the end makes it an acid. And it behaved in the same way. It's soluble but it doesn't fully dissociate. That's why it says partially dissociates, and it's behaving ionically. Sulfur, it's going to be a lot like the zinc. It was poor. It didn't dissolve at all, 
and ionic covalent doesn't really apply or molecular. Sodium carbonate was good. Sodium Na2CO3. It's definitely soluble and it's definitely ionic. Hydrochloric acid, it was great. So it was like when we had lots of table salt where I should have written down great. HCl, soluble and ionic. So when you get a moment after you've copied all this, you're going to see that all the good conductors, the good and the great, had to be soluble and they had to be ionic. If it was molecular, it was not electrolyte. So anything molecular, not electrolyte. And if it was low solubility, like the calcium carbonate, even though it's ionic, low solubility, it doesn't dump, dump enough ions in there. And therefore, it is a poor electrolyte. In the next video, we're just going to put in our conclusions.